Hi guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. And look, I've got my Christmas background all up. How cute is it? I didn't want it to look like Santa's grotto, but I did want a tree. So we've got the tree going on. We've got a little reindeer over there. Let's name him. By the way, that little pumpkin that I had at Halloween, he did end up being called Horatio, even though he wasn't in any of my videos after I said let's name him. But he was called Horatio. That was one of your guys' suggestions. So I want to name the little reindeer because you know, he's just a cutie. And today I thought that I'd share with you my Christmas wish list. Now, I don't have a Christmas wish list that I give to my parents or that I send off to Santa or anything like that because I'm in my 20s and I don't have a Christmas wish list anymore. But I do have a list of things that I want for Christmas. I mainly buy them all myself, to be honest. I do tend to treat myself at Christmas, especially this year and last year because I became single around Christmas time last year. So I was just like, do you know what? I'm gonna treat myself and I'm gonna buy myself loads of stuff to make myself feel better and I'm just gonna carry on the tradition to be honest because it makes me feel good. Why not? But some of these things my family will be getting me but also I just really like watching these videos because I think that they're such a good way to gain inspiration on what you want for Christmas or gifts to buy people and yeah I just think they're a really cool little video to make and I want to get in the Christmas spirit so yeah without further ado let's get straight into it. <laughs> So I own an absolutely ridiculous amount of makeup but for some reason it does not stop me from wanting more so I've treated myself to a few little bits and also I know that my mum is getting me some bits so I'm gonna tell you the things that I've got for myself first. The first thing that I got that I've been wanting for a while is MAC Stone Lip Liner. I just really really like cool toned grey slash beige shades and I've got a few lipsticks that are that sort of tone and I didn't have a lip liner to go with them and I just knew that this would be the perfect one. I haven't used it yet but oh my gosh am I excited to. So I was browsing the Black Friday sales as you do and it was literally about half 11 at night and I thought you know what I've done my shopping, I've been quite good, I've been quite reserved but then it came to half 11 and my brain was just like just have a little look, just go on Beauty Bay, see what they've got on there, have a little look on a few different websites, you know, as your brain does. So I went on Beauty Bay and I ended up buying two of the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I have seen these on Instagram and just on YouTube and stuff in general, and I've always really liked the look of them. They are smaller than I imagined, by the way, but the shades are absolutely stunning and this shade is called Gravity and I really thought that this would go with Stone Lip Liner. It's such a gorgeous like greyish purple shade and this one's called Iced Mocha. It's just like a standard rosy beige shade. It's like a darkish colour but it's not too dark and I just thought it was absolutely stunning. So I know that my mum is getting me the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. I've seen that around so much and I absolutely love the look of it. I just need it in my life and my mum and was like I'll get you that for Christmas so she's getting me that and I was with her when she bought it and I saw this eyeshadow in Urban Decay it's called Glitter Rock and it's one of their moon dust eyeshadows it's such a stunning pink glittery color and I just needed it in my life and they were actually sold out in the store that I was in and I literally gasped in the woman's face I asked her if I could have this in my order and she went to go and check if they had it and she came back and said they were out of stock and I was like <gasps> No! I was absolutely devastated, not even joking. So I went into a different store and they had this in there, so I was lucky. But it's absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love it. And my mum also got me Max Boldly Bare Lip Liner and Whirl Lip Liner as well. Another makeup product that I'd really like for Christmas that my cousin said that she would get either that or a Debenhams voucher I would be happy with. But it is the Urban Decay Naked... No, it's the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. I love the shades in that palette. They're really, really bright and glittery and totally not like everyday colours, but they are so stunning. There's some blue shades, some green shades, like purples. They're just absolutely gorgeous and I think that I'll be able to make some really, really pretty looks with that palette. I'm so, so excited for it. I also want to pick myself up the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I love the look of it and I've been after it for ages, but it's been sold out on Cult Beauty and Beauty Bay for absolutely ages. I just cannot get my hands on it and I don't really want to order it from America because I can't be bothered to pay customs on it because it's expensive as it is. It's like £40, which is 
rather steep for a palette but the colours in it are absolutely gorgeous. I can't see that becoming available before Christmas time to be honest. It's been sold out for so long but I do want to get my hands on that at some point. Another thing that I treated myself to that I've wanted for absolutely ages, literally about two years, is another grape frog ring. I'm actually not wearing my grape frog ring. Um, I have the small kudu ring which is the skull ring that I wear. Quite a lot of you ask me about that. I'm not wearing it today. I absolutely love that ring and I wear it pretty much every day it is so gorgeous actually a lot of people don't like it I know that my mum doesn't like it and it is quite a niche thing to like it's very like in your face and chunky but I absolutely love it and I really wanted the Michael Roden ring I got my kudu ring last year for Christmas and I wanted the Michael Roden ring at that time actually I wanted it about a year before that but it was one of those that was really popular amongst bloggers which is why I never got it I just thought oh that's just gonna go out of fashion but to be honest two years later Later, I still want it so I just thought you know what Kate just get it like they are quite steep like they're expensive but I think they're so worth it the craftsmanship that goes into them is amazing they're all handmade and I love the history behind the brand and everything and I just really really like their pieces so I thought that I would get myself the Michael Rodent ring and yeah I just ordered that for myself the other day I also ordered a great frog t-shirt why did I do that I just really like the look of them I just was on one when I was on the website I was like yeah I'll pick up a t-shirt as well <laughs> also going back to what I was saying about that ring going out fashion I actually don't think it will just because they don't change up what they're selling or whatever they have like staple pieces which is what I really like about them and plus they are really expensive so they're not gonna be pieces that people buy and then just stop wearing after a couple of months I think you've got to really love the pieces to actually buy one because otherwise it's just not worth investing in it at all and I know that their Michael Rodent ring is one of their most popular rings but I think it is for a reason like it is just super cool and I absolutely love it so yeah that's why I got that. So I've been lusting after the Key Australia sunglasses for ages and I never really buy sunglasses just because I do wear glasses and pretty much when I wear sunglasses I have to wear contacts otherwise I can't see out of them so that's why I kind of don't really wear sunglasses a lot but I absolutely love the look of them and I've been lusting after I think they're called the Harper sunglasses but they're basically like a cat eye shape and they're really sort of pointy at the edges and they just look so badass like I absolutely love them I think that those are paired with a red lip and a black coat would just look so super cool you know when you have a vision in your head of what something would look like and you just think to yourself my outfit is just not gonna be complete without that thing like I absolutely need to wear it I need to style it like this I need to wear it like this and I'm just gonna look and feel fabulous <laughs> that's how I feel about those sunglasses and I just feel like I need them in my life another thing that I've been wanting for ages is actually a ring light which is probably really boring to most of you but I want one just so that I can make like really good quality makeup tutorials. I've got two softbox lights which I usually use um, but I don't really love the quality when it comes to filming makeup tutorials and in this house I don't have a space where I can film that has a window directly in front of it. Like I've got my window behind me which really bugs me sometimes because the sun just shines through it and it really gets on my nerves and the same thing happens when your window is in front of you. But in my old house and when I was in Dubai I used to be able to film with a window window like directly in front of me which was really handy but yeah I've wanted a ring light for a while I just think that the quality of my videos will be better if I use one and my mum very kindly said that she would get me one for Christmas so yeah that's so nice of her I was literally gonna buy it myself and she was just like well I'll get you it for Christmas so that's really really sweet of her and I'm so excited to get that and film some amazing makeup tutorials so leave your suggestions for makeup looks down below now <laughs> so there's a couple of books that I'm after at the moment one of them is The Holographic Universe by Michael Talbot this is not a new book at all it literally came out years and years ago but I heard about it recently and I just 
really want to read it. It sounds so, so interesting. It's basically all about the holographic universe theory. I'm such a geek. I know, I can't help it. But yeah, I just really want to read that. It seems so interesting and I'm really into anything to do with the universe. You guys know that. I also want to read A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. I read The Power of Now by him um, in the summer and I absolutely loved it it was such a good book so i really want to read a new earth as well so let me know what you're going to be asking santa for in the comments below i really want to know and i'm probably going to get some inspiration from your suggestions as well also let me know what other christmas videos you'd like me to film i've got a few that i want to film but i want to know what you want to see and um if anyone else leaves a suggestion that you want to see just thumbs it up and i will go with the most popular ones but be sure to give the video a big thumbs up to let me know if you enjoyed it guys and to Subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!